What's going on everybody? Painbay back here again for another Genshin Impact video. Today guys, we're going to be covering our first showcase. And I want to start off with my boy Dilik. Now, there's been a lot of controversy between this character and whether he's the best DPS out there or not. At the moment, in my opinion, hands down the best damage dealer. Now I've got, if you, if you see my first video, I've got already a couple of five stars maxed out in terms of their dupes. And I've got some pretty intense weapons on them. And I wanted to start with this guy because I do agree with a lot of the audience out there. Even though there's a mixed bag review in terms of how good he is, I think he is hands down the best damage dealer in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through his stats, guys. We're going to go through what he offers you as a unit, what weapons I'm currently using on him, uh, his his, uh, his talents, and how you want to essentially go into this fight, especially with the dupes that you have. And then lastly, we're going to do a couple showcase fights with you, fighting some of these cube bosses and some of the, uh, the geo bosses out there. Sorry, the elemental plant bosses, all right? So let's take a quick look here in terms of his stats. Now, to check out somebody's stats, you can look at the statistics area here, go into details, and you can kind of see where he's at. Now, in terms of uh, Diluc, I like to keep him a little tankier, but at the same time, stack as much attack power as possible. So you can see here his max HP is a little higher because I do need him to survive. Uh, he does rush head in first. Like, he doesn't have any type of healing, any type of, uh, you know, buffs or anything like that. He's just straight, pure damage. So, uh, HP, pretty high up. Attack power, I stacked as much as possible through my artifacts and of course my weapon. And the defense, I don't really care much about defense. I usually end up putting in Kiki with him so I can add in a few heals. Uh, so essentially she has an ice road that rotates around her which heals constantly. So he really doesn't lose much HP in the first place. So defense, not a really big issue for me here. Uh, max stamina as you can see is 192. And then from here, what I've done is I've stacked in uh, crit damage. Unfortunately my crit is low. This you want a little higher obviously because crit damage is irrelevant without the actual crit rate. So definitely get that higher energy recharge not that big of a deal uh, and then of course he's got all of his uh, resistance and damage bonuses the big one of course being pyro damage if you had it it'd be nice but i currently do not so artifacts let's actually look at the artifacts real quick before we jump into the next so i did get the berserker set i've got the crit rate plus 12 percent and i've got when hp is below 70 percent crit rate increases by additional 24 so this is kind of what i've done and i've been stacking a ton of damage with crit damage so as you can see here he's got the hp on this one but the other ones all have attack so there's attack bonus there there's attack there there's HP, of course, there. You don't have a choice with that one, but of course, I've tried to get the substats as high with, it, with attack as I can. Uh, and of course, this is a fairly new game, guys. These are brand new artifacts. I'm only level 27, so we're going to keep optimizing this as much as possible. And then, of course, I've got crit damage here. That's why my crit damage is so high. Now, the reason why I stack crit damage is because he does sometimes, with harder fights, reach below the 70% HP, and I don't heal him until he does that. Sometimes I heal him at 50%, so he gets that crit rate bonus, right? So at that point, he does do a ton more damages crit rates i think at the highest i've seen on a boss is like 6k with his with his move so um currently that's the, the set i'm using ideally though like you the best set probably to use for him is going to end up being uh this set right here resolution of uh surgeoner um and that gives him the 18 percent attack and increases charge attack crit rate by 30 percent now the reason why that's important is his charge attack is actually phenomenal it does take a ton of stamina but if you hold it down he just keeps swinging and swinging and swinging at everything he sees and then lastly if you let go he does a spin attack so very very important to keep in mind his charge attack is phenomenal so that's a really another good set you can start using for him now let's go back into his actual talents now if you go to talents his biggest and his bread and butter essentially is his charge attack and his searing onslaught now searing onslaught is a uh, has a three time attack before there's a cooldown but it is timed so when you do the first one for example i'll show you here you're going to see the e button on my screen at the bottom right actually have start have a have a second move pop up now if you don't use that second move it goes on cooldown and you have to reset that whole thing so ideally what you want to do is you want to make sure you, you land off the, the the actual full move so which is one two and then three okay so that's how the move goes now it's extremely important that you realize it does leave burning damage on the floor so you actually can get hurt by that yourself as, as well as the mobs that run through now the thing is with him if you do get dupes of him his constellation actually does provide you some extra things so um for the first one for example let's take a look here uh right here the last one after casting searing onslaught which is that move you just saw the next two normal attacks within the next six seconds, right before the cooldown pops up, will have their damage and attack speed increased by 30%. Additionally, Searing Onslaught will not interrupt the normal attack combo. So you can do the combos in between, including that move, and you will 
not stop attacking. So it's very important, guys, if you do get him maxed out, you do the uh, Searing Onslaught once, do two attacks in there before the six seconds, do Searing Onslaught again, two attacks again, and then lastly Searing Onslaught, and then two attacks again, which does a ton of damage, especially with the with the Greatsword being slower. This is a great way to stack on attack real quick. All right, so this is something that's going to not happen for a lot of you for a while unless you're Wailing, uh, but it's something really to look forward to. He does throw in a ton of damage. Now, weapons. Now, I had a lot of options here about weapons. The one I chose is Wolf's Greystone. The reason why is that it increases attack by 35% on hit, attack against enemies with less than 30% HP, and then increases party members' um, attack by 70% for 12 seconds, can only occur for 30 seconds. Now, the other option I had, of course, and I noticed it wasn't quite as good, is the actual um, Skyward Pride. Now, this increases all damage by 16%, which is fantastic. After using an elemental burst, normal, or charge attack on hit creates a volume of vacuum blade that does 160% of attack to damage to enemies along the path. Lasts for 20 seconds or, or 8 vacuum blades. Don't get me wrong, fantastic weapon. Uh, just not built for him because the Wolf's Gravestone actually has a boost to attack power at 32.2% when you're refining it. So it does actually do a lot more. Plus in co-op, it gives you your whole party a buff, which, is, uh, which makes him actually a utility character when you give him this weapon. So that is one of the biggest things, the reason why I have that on there. Now, other good ones is um, uh, increased damage enemies effective by Hydro Electro. If you have um, either Mona or you know or, or someone like uh, Key King, um, another one here is uh, the after this was actually not as good. If you want to make him a little tankier, you can put the bell on him. Not recommended personally, but hey, if you need a tank, he's, he can take a ton of damage if you stack HP and defense on him. Again, not recommended though. Uh, this one here, crits have 100% chance to create a small particle. Not bad weapon, but still not the greatest. So I honestly, like out of the four star weapons that I like best, um, you could either stick with the um, this one here, which is resets his cooldown. Or you can do this one here, which increases damage against specific uh, uh, debuffed characters, such as Hydro or Electric, right? So two really good weapons still to use. Um, I mean, again, the bell is not the worst. This one, you'd have to stack crit. So, I mean, not the greatest. And then, uh, I mean, this is not too bad either. After using a normal attack, um, so it's a three-star weapon, the Debate Club. After using an elemental skill, normal charge attack on hit deals an additional 60% attack damage in a small area. So it, it's a little bit of an AOE form. Again, um, not the best weapons out here. I mean, the three stars aren't the greatest, obviously, but um, this one works as well too if you do have a blunt hate to uh, great sword because it does increase damage dealt uh, by pyro electric by 12%, and he is a pyro character, so that will help a lot. Uh, but those are probably the best recommendations uh, for weapons for him, and of course. As mentioned, if you can somehow get lucky and pull the Wolf's Greystone, that's the bad boy you want to keep using. So without further ado, guys, let's jump in and I'll show you a couple uh, couple fights here and I'll show you some damage. So enjoy. <laughs> 